Hello! In this tutorial, we are going to create an encyclopedia app that displays information about awesome scientists. Let's get started. First, drag and drop a list viewer component into the app. The list viewer is going to display the names of the different scientists. Hooray! Next, drag and drop a local DB into the app. The local DB is going to store the names and information of the different scientists. And let's go ahead and add that information in. Click to edit the local DB table. Next, we are going to rename column 1 to say name. Name. This is where the names of the scientists will be. Then rename column 2 to say description. Description. This column will hold the descriptions of each scientist. Mm. Now I'm just going to copy and paste to the names and descriptions in, and if you are customizing this tutorial for yourself, you can add your own names and descriptions. Yay! Good for you! Uh, so let's go to the block section to program the functionality of the app. Go to the block options for screen 1. Drag and drop the when screen 1 opens block into the blocks editor. Go to the block options for the list viewer now, and drag and drop the from list viewer 1 set text items 2 block into the screen 1 block. So this says, when the screen opens, set the list viewer text to something, and we want to set it to the names that we put in the local DB. So go to the block options for the local DB, and drag and drop the in local DB 1 call get column block and drop it into the list viewer block. Hooray! Now go to the block options for math and grab a number block. That's over here. And we are going to drop it into the opening over here. Uh, let's also change the 0 to a 1. And that's because the names were in column 1 of the table. Uh, now when the screen opens, it will set the list viewer text items to be the names that we entered into the DB in column 1. And that's going to look like this. Hooray! Uh, now we don't know which name the user will select. It could be Ada Lovelace. It could be Marie Curie. We, we really don't know. So we need to add a variable into the app. So what's a variable? A variable is basically a placeholder for something that can change. Again, we don't know which name the user will pick. Marie Curie, Ada Lovelace. So we're just going to say, whatever the user picks, we're going to call that a variable and that's going to be matched with whatever description matches the name. So go to the variables drawer and drag and drop an initialize app variable block into the blocks editor. Next, we are going to change this part to say row number. Row number. Go ahead and write that in. Row number. And again, this block is just a placeholder uh, for a row number. Mm. So next, go to the text drawer and drag and drop a text block into the variable block. Text block into the variable block. Hmm. And let's just write in the word placeholder. Placeholder. Next, we need to tell the app that when a name on the list viewer is clicked, it should set the variable to match the description from the local DB. Go to the block options for the list viewer. Select the when list viewer item click block and drop it into the blocks editor. Next, go into the variable blocks and select the set app row number block and drop it into the list viewer block. Then, grab an index block from the list viewer. That's over here, that's provided, and drop it into the opening. Hmm. Great work. Now when a name on the list viewer is clicked, the corresponding description will be shown. And when a name is clicked, we also need the app to go to the next screen. So to add a screen, click on this plus sign, and this will create a screen 2. And let's just go back to screen 1, and in the control section, grab a navigate to screen 1 block. Just drop it under the variable, and we are going to set it to screen 2. Hmm, great work! So it's time to design screen 2. We're going to do this really quickly. So click on screen 2, and then in the design section, that's where we're going to change what the screen looks like. Pretty simple. We are going to add a button. So go ahead and drag and drop a button onto the screen. 
And next, we are going to add two labels. So go ahead and drag and drop two labels onto screen two. Labels, hmm. So let's call this back button. Uh, so to do this, we're going to change the name of the button. We're going to write back button, back button. And we are going to set the text of the button to say back, back. Great, again, we're gonna click this button and it's gonna take us back to screen one. Next, let's rename the labels. Uh, let's rename the first label to say description label, description label. Great. And we are going to rename the second label, that's this guy over here. Uh, we are going to rename the second label to say name label. Name label. Mm. Again, this is going to be where the information is displayed. The name will show up in the name label and the description will show up in the description label. And when you're done reading, you can just hit the back button to go back to screen one. Let's go back to the blocks. Hooray for blocks and making apps. Apps are great. Uh, so let's program the back button first. Let's do that. In the block options for back button, select the when back button click block and drop it into the blocks editor. Mm. Next, go back to the control section and get another navigate to screen one block. Mm. Navigate to screen one block over here. Go ahead and drop that into the when back button click block. Mm. So when this button is clicked, it will go back to screen one. Very good. Now it's time to program the labels. Hooray labels. Uh, go to the block options for screen two and select the when screen two opens block and drag and drop it into the blocks editor. Mm. Next, go to the block options for the name label. Drag and drop a from name label set to uh, set text to block. That's uh, this fellow over here, hello. Go ahead and drop this block into the screen to block. And again, we're gonna do the same thing for the description label. So just drag and drop a description label set text to block under the other label block. Hmm. Should look like this, hooray. Great, uh, now we need to program what happens to these labels, which is basically matching them with the information from the DB table. Go into the block options for local db1 and drag and drop the in local db1 call get cell block. You see that over here? Go ahead and drop this into the name label block. Hmm. Now you can just copy and paste this block. You can right click and hit the duplicate block, uh, the duplicate option. So now you should have two of them and go ahead and just drop this into the description label block. So do you see this column opening section? Uh, the names were in column one of the table, so we need to match this information with the names in column one. So let's go into the block options for math, grab a blank number block, and drop it into the column opening. Mm. And let's change the number to be one, because that's where the names are. And let's copy and paste this, and let's drop another number block into the description opening, right over here. Yeah. And we're going to change this to say two because the descriptions were in column two. And that refers to the names and descriptions of the scientists. Hooray for science. Um, finally, go to the block options for variables. And we are going to select an app row number block. App row number block, that's this one over here. And drop it into the row num opening. Mm. Drop it in right over there. Great, and we can copy and paste this block and just put it in the other opening over now. Hmm. Fantastic work. So when the screen opens, it will set the labels to match the information we entered into the table of scientists. Hooray, let's see this app in action. 